worthy of it. And this angered me. I'm not gonna slot off my rage to everything and anything any longer, but rather now wish to save it for something really special. Save it for something noble that really deserves it. I wanted to hate what I respected, and I don't respect anything. I long to hate something worthy of the emotion. I can't hate incompetence, I can't hate the pathetic, the pathetic demeans my hate. I want my hate to represent my purpose, to become my purpose. I want it to be worthwhile. And looking at you, thinking about you, knowing what you are, I realize to hate you would be a crime. It would be like hating a stain. Like hating a pimple, a zit. I can dislike things all I want, they're a nuisance, a bother. But hating them would drag me down. Drag. Me. Down. How could I build up the energy for this? How could I really care? I'm tired of having my hate watered down by irrelevant bullshit. There's nothing worse than wasting the beautiful energy of unrestrained anger, of uninhibited fury on something like this. Some impotent, meaningless blur. And then a calm overcomes me. Nothing can bother me now because nothing is worth the trouble. Underneath this emotionless surface boils the true essence of unrestrained anger. I now walk through life like a ghost, like a zombie, for I have reached a transcendental state of bliss. And by bliss, I mean rage. Because I know that what I now hate is the core of everything. I don't hate your trivialities, your bullshit, your irritants. I hate the essence. I hate truth. I hate the very fundamentals of it all.
Sisters still searching for freedom I'm down to these chains Like my angels and demons Will roll at its throat Yeah, what fear of the names You're stuck in my head You're haunting my dreams The fires will burn and the sirens will scream